are the guys under the uh, under under the office of the PRO that is the Nanga who came out and said that Honorable Bobby Wine, okay, mm. did not meet the, the, the standards of organizing a concert. Okay? Mm. And he, he looks for all reasons to give to cover up. By the time the president talked, he, 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 he brought out the truth that that one would not sing, will not, will not practice his music here because he did this. And that was the, the right what? The right reason. But the police was giving me no reason. This is the police mm. who said that we have arrested Bobby Wine with AK-47 with two rounds of bullets in the hotel with a tanker. Are you talking about that? With anti-aircraft within a, a hotel room. Are you talking, are you talking about so that? So you cannot, you cannot about, go to Uganda police. Are you police. talking about, yeah. about the Arua? Sergeant? Yes. The Pierre Oden, that is Kaima, he said that we arrested this man, this is the evidence. Other evidences are in, in the but, military uh, what in, in the, the military the, stores mm. that he was with it anti tanker. Mm. Can you imagine helicopter gunship? Uh, I will, Can you imagine? I will, I will don't so discuss I, for that me. So for me, so for me, so for me, I don't want to. The do, era, mm. I will not discuss that because it is on record. It is on YouTube. The, the case, uh, yes, the case is still going on. <laughs> <laughs> it is on record. Yes, yes the, the this is the is police again. Mm. This is the police again who said that who paraded almost fifty suspects that they were involved in the killing of the IGP Afande, Felix Kawesi. Almost 50 individuals. All right. Okay. Without, without wasting time, so, I would like so to So that is the Uganda police you are quoting. Uh, since our time is running out, I would so like they, to give they, chance. They are politicians. They are playing politics. They are not serving Ugandanese okay. as they are supposed to do by by, by the standards of the Constitution. Okay, right about now, we'd like actually to go straight to our studio lines, and of course, uh, the number is on screen of your television, 0200 923 I repeat, 0200 923 Feel free to call in and let's discuss, let's share. What is your take on Uganda's professionalism? Yes, the number is on screen of your television, 0200 Is Uganda having forces that are professional enough? to actually contain the current situation within the country. Do you believe in the professionalism? Hello, Kola. Hello. Hello. You're live on Record TV. Your name, where are you calling from? This is Paul Omo from Bukoto. Yes, how is Bukoto? Bukoto is good. I would like to ask you, is Ugandan police, in particular, professional enough to handle Ugandan emanating crisis? Yeah, the, the force, yeah, to me, I can say the, the force is professional. Okay. Mm, but we would only say where there is always violence. Mm. Violence has to be applied to. So you're trying to say violence has to be treated with violence? In most cases, that's how we do. Because when you look at even other countries, when you protest this thing, you can be allowed to go on with your demonstration, whatever. Mm. Because we have to understand it's a demonstration and it's a protest. Are you a police officer? Sorry to ask. I'm not. Because according to your statement, you said uh, wherever there's a crisis like that, uh, that's what we have to, to do. Are you a police no, officer? I'm not a police officer. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you for your input. Thank I, you for your service. Yeah, we are that. But I want to ask a gentleman one question. Yes. I, I want to know, before you join the party, which political party was he supporting? Yes, no, I'm a DP, I'm a DP and I'm still DP. Okay. I mean, the gentleman on the red barrier. Mm. Uh, what is Yeah. He has responded, he says, he was DP, he is DP, and he I'm, dreams to stay DP. I'm still DP. Mm. All right. We have just lost him. You can do the same. The number is screen of your television, 0200 923 Call in and share with us. Is Uganda having a professional force? Hello, Kola. Move away from your TV set because it's giving us the deadly feedback. Move away from your TV set. Hello? Hello, you're live on Record TV. Your name, where are you calling from? Oh, sorry. We have just lost her. But all viewers, wherever you are, whenever you call in, please move away from your TV set or switch off. Yes, please switch off because uh, when you want to see how we receive your call at the end of the day, you distort the transmission, of course, of our communication. So just do the same. The number is going to be the solution 0200 Hello, Kola. 
Hello. Your name or where you calling from? Constantine Okui Ginger. Yes, Okui from Ginger Constantine. <coughs> what would you love to say yes. about the Ugandan professionalism? Well, I, I think there are two issues. Uh, the question Can is. I start with Makerere? You want us to go back to Makerere? Well, I didn't make my comment in Makerere. Oh. Can I give you one minute to make that comment of Makerere? Let me attend to the matter on the table. Okay, the matter on the table is. Is Uganda having a professional force? A professional well, enough to man the current crisis? Mm. But if we look at the tenets of our constitution, mm. I wouldn't want to use that word, professionalism. Mm. Why? Uh, looking at what happened in Makerere, mm. this was a student uh, unhappiness. Mm which I think the police would have sufficiently handled. Mm. And if we go to chapter 12 of our constitution, mm. that was work of the, 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 the police. Okay. So when we find the student in the, the army, mm. uh, meddling in, in the student's unhappiness, then we can only talk of a breakdown of the constitutional order. So okay. we can no longer talk about professionalism because our forces are trained. The uh, only challenge is they are misdeployed. Mr. Constantine, before you go off, uh, there was rumor, actually, according to the reports from the Uganda Police Force, uh, that have just not come right now. It has been there trickling for quite some time. That most of the people writing in these universities are actually hired. How would you substantiate that? Uh, I have tried for that matter myself. I don't find any evidence. Mm. In that position. Okay. I think it's just unfortunate blackmail. Mm. Unfortunate a mad flinging of our little one. Okay. So until the government brings the concrete evidence that effect, okay. it's unfortunate. It shouldn't be retracted, in my own opinion. All right. Thank you so much for your submission. Thank you for catching us all the way from Ginger. We are appreciate your good, good, good engagement with us. Yes, <clears throat> we can do the same. We're going to pick up our last call of the night. 0200-923-257. Call in and ask a question. Call in and give us a response. Call in and share with us. Do you think the Ugandan forces are professional enough to actually handle what is on ground? Before we get that, we would like to hear at least a remark from you. Yes, as our time summarizes, what would you say about the Ugandan security system? No, uh, 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 the Uganda security system, actually, uh, our, our security system, it has, it has been on, on the priority list of the government. Actually, for, most of the budgets? For, for quite a long time. Mm. Every financial year, mm. the defense takes almost uh, the lion's share. Mm. 3.2 trillion, 1.8 trillion, what, what. The always, Uganda police always present budgets in the parliament. 500 billion, you know? Mm. So they are well facilitated in terms of operation. But they turned into a political tool. They are, def they are the defenders because they, 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 are, they are privileged to be in the position of holding eh, the firearms and so on, mm. enforcing the law, keeping law and order. They have decided to use it to defend the regime. Therefore, they cannot, they cannot, they cannot and they will never uh, practice any professionalism at all level. Even if you, you if, even if you don't go the level of uh, dispatching crowd and uh, spreading tear gas, you got the polling station. I mean, you got the police station and you find out mm -hmm. the way they manage cases mm -hmm. from the local people. Okay. They, they actually, I was arrested and detained in Kawembe. Why? Just in December this very year. Mm -hmm. Actually, last year. Uh, I was coming from a radio station and I was arrested on the spot. Uh, but what I found in Kawembe, the police cell is, is it was turned into, into a warehouse where they keep their commodities mm. as they look for market. In this case, let me fi finish this point. Mm. In this case, uh, every case, whatever it is, mm. it, is, it, it, is it is counted into, into, mm. into, into, into money. How much do you have to sort out your issue? Uh, okay. How much do you have to sort out that issue? There is no free police bond, okay. whatever it is. So, All right. such institution cannot be 
professional. It cannot be professional anyway. All right. I would like to say that to all the viewers who have been catching, I thank you so much for engaging with us in this particular discussion. And of course, thank you so much for being part of the big record TV this family. You can do the same tomorrow when you wake up or join us on the Daybreaker Show as we keep unveiling for you much. Of course, these taken through by Nora, of course, giving you the latest updates in the trading suits across the globe. I'd like to say that me, your host, Isaac Olubarakonya, and for me and the crew that made this possible, would like to wish you a blessed night.